What's up guys, I'm back and I'm finally showing you in full my completed, almost near complete, Napoleon Colossus Custom, Napoleon Cyborg. And the crowd goes wild, yeah! <laughs> yeah, I'm really happy about how he came out. Uh, I'm gonna take him apart in front of you, show you how I made him, and then put him back all together again, like Humpty Dumpty. Um, just to start off, I just want to get this out of the way right now because I've recorded so many times. This is like my ninth take. Full, full transparency here. And uh, I'm so done with forgetting. I took these arms out. One one way, I, I, I basically, I snapped, I didn't snap. I pried out one arm with my hand. I just pried it out as hard as I could. This one wouldn't want to pry out with my hand. So I used a flathead screwdriver to help pry it out. Disclaimer, don't do it the way I did it. Try a better way if possible. And if you do do it the way I did it, be careful. You could snap off these nubs. I'm telling you guys now so you don't end up breaking this and then blaming me later. It was hard to do. They're easy to put back in, but difficult to take out. Be careful, be careful. They were very difficult to pry out. And I did it like in a jackass way. Oh yeah, on that note, look how this guy like lost no, like he doesn't have any effects there. No inner highlights there on the details of the bicep. And he got some paint chip there from the yellow jacket. It was meant to be to customize this one. It really was. Um, here's the middle finger I have here, this loose middle finger. I don't feel that way about you guys. I like you guys so much because you guys gave me 300, over 300 subscribes. I really appreciate all of you. Um, I want to shout out one of my faithful, devoted uh, subscribes, subscribers, uh, Justin Westcott. He's really into the Iron Wrecker pieces here, which is where I got all of these mechanized attachments for, with the exception of this piece and this piece. This is from Best Action Krang. This is from uh, DBZ Dragon Stars uh, Vegito, Super Vegito. Anyway, um, Justin Westcott, shout out to you. And all your Westcott, uh, all your Westcott collecting. I was gonna say, all your Iron Wrecker collecting. It's really awesome, and I can't wait to see more of your picks. And I can't wait to see you take your own shot at this because he's interested. He wants to try to make this. Uh, also, shout out to my boy Sammy. Check out his channel, Zero Sam. That's with two R's. And uh, yeah, link is in the description below. He does a lot of cool stuff. He's coming up with some cool artwork. He's crossing over Pokemon and X-Men. Check it out. Just giving you a full 3D while I'm yapping here about thank you for the subscribes. 360. So yeah, um, this is basically what I came up with. I had this random idea and I just compared him. I, I did a size comparison next to him with uh, the Iron Wrecker. And I just noticed how well these guys scale together. Like, especially the arms. Like, I just noticed it off the bat. I'm like, these arms scale really well together. What's the deal here? I use invisible, well, technically it's, what is this? Gloss finish transparent tape from Scotch. And I wrapped it around the edges of the nubs here. So that they would fit in securely, but also so I can uh, articulate and not have them get stuck there. This piece right here is not supposed to be there. It's supposed to be that piece there, but that, this piece is looser than this piece. This shit constantly falls off, so I switched it with this arm attachment, which came from that part right there on the Iron Wrecker. What up, Grey Frog? Smoking a blunt, I see. Not sharing with anybody, I see. Okay. He doesn't come with this. They're two separate items. I just put them in there. But yeah, I took that piece, and then I took the best action drill, and I attached it to there. How I attached it is with these sticky pads that I got from the display uh, cases that I got, uh, like my little WCF Dragon Ball figures in. Check out my Dragon Ball Collections video videos and you'll see what I'm talking about. They came from Amazon and the company's called Wellix. 
that's the display cases. They used to come with these. I don't think they come with these anymore. So heads up, I don't know where else to get them. Sorry to show you them and then not tell you where they get, I get them from. That's the best I could do. Um, this right here is from, as I said before, Vegito Dragon Stars. And I just added that there. What I did was I took a screwdriver, lit the tip. When it got hot enough, wiped off the soot and I shoved it in there. Just shoved it all in there. And I took it out. And I made the, the hole wide enough because I tried to find a screwdriver that matches the, the width of the nubs. I also did that here with the gun attachment. This comes apart. Let me just take that off and then take that off. So I, I made a mark with the screwdriver first on the back part and I made sure it was a spot that was like open so it wouldn't go against the, the shoulder. And then I just, you know, did the same thing. Lift the tip, punctured it. Don't forget to wipe off the tip when, uh, when you're done lighting it because it has like black marks on it and you don't want to get that on the, the figure. Um, but yeah. And then I just placed it in there. Now for the jacket itself and for the necklace, and for the pendant somewhat on the edges and the eyeballs both eyeballs i put sticky stuff there for to keep that there the sticky pad so for the eyeballs the necklace the pendant and the jacket i did the most jackass thing possible the laziest thing possible and i used sharpie markers and a dry erase marker. That's upside down. All fine point. Can I get it to... Why is it not... There we go. So yeah. I use these guys to color in the jacket. I don't advise doing that. Don't do that. Because it's smearing off my hands a lot. And smearing on the figure a lot. It looks great though, like as far as like looking like a leather jacket, but it did the same thing too. It started taking off some of the yellow paint, especially on the inside. Like that yellow paint is all gone. So inside, not so pretty, but outside, very pretty, very pretty. So I'm happy with how that came out. Uh, I'm gonna put them back together again. Cause that was pretty much the point of me showing that. And I just wanted to show how easy it is to put them back together again because that's the greatest thing about making a custom like this is that you can continue to change positions and stuff. I'm not going to switch out the head, but I also did uh, the happy face like that. I colored in the eye and I put sticky stuff on it for the attachment. And then, uh, you know, maybe one day he'll be happy and turn back to good, but he's going to be a villain for quite some time. And I'm okay with that. Let's get his blade back on. I don't want his regular hand on. I don't want him to give you all the finger. I want him to give you all the blade. <laughs> Put that as straight as possible. The gun pivots down a little bit, but that's okay. I don't mind that. I really don't. It looks really good. This articulates so I can get some really good pictures with that. And then, you know, that, that paint came off the center too. All oh, the stickers are from the uh, Back to the Future Play Mobile set. That's where I got the stickers from. But this is him fully put together. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Shout out again to Justin Westcott and my boy Sammy and his channel Zero Sam. That's with two R's. Go check it out. Link in description below. I want to thank everybody who's been supporting my channel. I really do appreciate everything. I mean, I make custom because I want to make customs because I'm crazy. But when I see you guys support my, my channel, I, I, it really just makes me want to do it more and come up with more stuff. But I, I didn't come up with this on purpose. I'm not going to lie. This, I pulled this out of my ass. I pulled it out of my ass and I'm glad it worked out. Let me show you what we're going to be looking at next weekend. Whoa. Next weekend, we're looking at dinosaurs. Oh boy, 
Stay tuned. Peace, peace.